All right, how was that first day on Monday? Is that okay? Well, here's the deal. That was the longest video I planned to post. I don't wanna be making 20 minute videos all the time, every day. And it took a lot longer than 20 minutes to make that. So here's the deal. I will send you a Google Classroom assignment. It will be a form of a document. You're gonna open that up and it will have instruction on, instructions on it. A list. The list will also be in this video today right now. So I'll make it quick, simple, and easy for Tuesday. Here it goes. Okay, number one, do your DOL for Tuesday. You know how to do that. I will show you after I record myself here. Number two, do page two of your spelling packet. Number three, watch the video link in your document that I sent you, Math Antics. It's an introduction to the geometry terms that we just did yesterday. Yeah, you know the guy, we see his videos in school. So, you know that one, watch it. Number four, we're gonna then do page two of your math packet. It's the back side of the page we did yesterday. And then I'll decide after that if we're gonna do the next page or not. We gotta see how difficult it is. And then we're gonna look at page one of your geometry packet, which is in your social studies in history folder. But I'm just telling you now, I'm about to show you all of it. At the very end of all of this, and I'm gonna show you how to do all of this. We're gonna do 20 minutes of Imagine Math and 20 minutes of Imagine Learning. Some of you are not a fan of either of those, but I don't care because we are still doing school work. You have the logins for those in your folder. So there should be no excuse to say, I don't know where that's at, Mr. D. I just don't know. Yeah, you know, it's in your folder. So what I'm gonna suggest is to replay this video. I will have words on this video. I'm gonna add them to this video here. And then there's a document that I'm sending to you which has a checklist. If you have to, check them off, highlight them. Do one, highlight it, or cross it off, or turn it a different color, whatever you need to do to tell yourself that it's done. And then the next step, step one, step two, step three, step four. And I'm gonna show you all of these things also in this video, next. Here's my cat. Karma, outside in the sunshine. We'll push him. Here we go. We'll do underdog. Ready? Got to tell you one more thing. The Go Guardian is a program I have on my computer. It allows me to see what's going on on your Chromebook so I can literally see what websites you are on. So during the school day, or even at night, I can log in and see if you're on YouTube or if you're on your pizza making game or whatever it is that you do. And if I know you're on something that's inappropriate, that can be reported. So stay on task. Yeah, there's a time for free time and there's a not a time for free time. If you're gonna do work, do the work. Okay, I can tell if you are or not. I have access to your Chromebook. I can see what you're doing. Just a heads up. All right, 
First things first, open up to your DOL. Here it is. I'm gonna pull it out. We are going to do Tuesday together. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna waste any time here. All right. Number one. Our break will begin March 20, 2002. Our break will begin capital March, comma, 20, 2002. I think that's wrong. I just screwed up. That comma should be in between these numbers. So don't do that. It's all right. Even I make mistakes. So rewrite it. Our break will begin capital March 20, comma, 2002, period. They already had the punctuation, so we're good. The second one here. Let me go real close here. I is going to Jacksonville, Florida. That needs to be capitalized. Let's see if I can get that here. I am going. I are going. I will be going. I is going. I am going to capital Jackson because it's a place. There's a city and a state. We have to separate them by a comma. So we made one, two... Three, four corrections. We're going to rewrite it right now, Tuesday. Let's get it done. I am going to Capital Jackson, Ville, comma, Capital. F oh, cap forgot the capital in Florida. It's a state. Capital Florida. It's a place. Done. Hey, don't forget your name on this. This is important. You will turn this in eventually. All right, cool. All right, I'm ready to do math. So I will take out my math folder. If you need to go get this, you're not ready to do it, click pause now, go find your math folder. When you find your math folder and you get your Chromebook ready, get both of those, then you can start again. Do that now. Okay, I will open my math folder to my math packet and I will pull this out. And I want you to know that we are going to do this page right here. This one. We're skipping this back side of this. I looked at it. It's just not it's just not not what we're doing today. Okay. The video that I am recording, I told you to watch the math antics. Okay, so I want you to do that. So you find the link, it takes you to this, and you click play. Now. Hi there, today on math antics, we're starting a new subject where we're gonna learn the basics of a special kind of math called geometry. Right, watch that on your own time. And then come back to this. When you're ready to do this, we'll get started. I'll show you now. Okay, we're still going to talk about lines, line segments, and rays. Here they are. We have to de decide which one of these is a line, a line segment, or a ray. Well, I made a cheat sheet. Here's my cheat sheet. Everything from page one in our math packet I rewrote here so I can just look. Point, that's a point. Line, that's a line. Ray, that's a ray. Line segment, that is angle. All right, so let's go to the first one. Let's make this quick and easy. I will use my cheat sheet. There it is, that's good. What does that look like? Someone tell me, what do you think that looks like? It's a point, but it has more to it. It's definitely a line segment. So I'm gonna write that in line segment you can't spell it just look right there now what is this one hmm is that a line or is that a ray does it have a starting point 
Yes, Array has a starting point. This line here, remember, it just goes to infinity and beyond. It doesn't stop or start. This one does. So this one is called Array. This one has no starting or stopping point, so we know that's a line. This one here, who knows what that is? Good. You've been paying attention. It's a ray. This one looks very similar to this. It's a line. Now it's just getting easy. Okay, and then finally over here is a line segment. All right, so at the bottom, again, just like yesterday, I want you to draw, draw a line segment here. Draw a ray here and draw a line here. I want you to do that on your own. Here's how I do it. Line segment. Oh, here's my cheat sheet. A, starting at point A, the line moves to point B. So I'll start right here and I will move my line to here. I can make it up. Let me say this is X and this is Y. Okay, a ray. Ray has a starting point. The ray will start at the letter W, for example, and it will go on and on to infinity. It will go through other points if it has to. It doesn't have to, but it could go through point C, and it could go through point D. And the line, finally, right here, is just a line. A line. That's it. And it will go in either direction with no starting points and no stopping points. Okay. I am going to now put this away. I don't just leave it on the table. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm done with math. I will put it back in its math folder. Your job is to stay organized. Here's my cheat sheet. I'll put that in here too. I made that on my own. You don't have to make a cheat sheet. If I don't stay organized, I will lose this stuff. And then I will get farther and farther behind. All right, now I'm going to go get the next thing. And then I'm going to click pause. Okay, go find your science, history, social studies packet. And then I want you to pause and then start when you find this packet. When you go find this packet, looking for this, you click pause. Wait till you're ready. And then you're ready, you click start. Go do that now. Okay, we have never covered maps. When I was putting these packets together, I wanted to get you something that I had that was already pre-made. All right, this is pre-made, it's done. All we have to do is read it together as a group and fill in the blanks. I had about 100 of these somewhere in my room. I never used them before. I thought this is the best time to use them. You might know how to use a map. You might not, that's okay. We're still gonna learn some history in here too about maps and map making. And there's a little bit of geometry when it comes to map making. So we're going to look at both math, social studies, a little bit of history, and geography. Here it is, number one. Flip to the first page. All right, I'm going to try to zoom in here. What do you know about where you live? In what country do you live? Where country do we live, guys? Country, not continent. Country. We live in the United States of America, okay? Do you live near an ocean, lake, or a river? If so, which one? Okay, so in Michigan, there are over, oh, there's more than 10,000 lakes, lots of rivers. We are dominant when it comes to fresh water. Our largest lake that we live by is Lake Erie. So I will write Lake Erie. Now I know you guys have the River Raisin. I know you have Stony Creek and some of you have other small bodies of water, but our largest one is Lake Erie. Do you live closer to the North Pole or the South Pole? Hmm. You know we live right here, right? Right there. So I want you to tell me. Is that closer to the North Pole or closer to the South Pole? It is closer to the North Pole. Do you live north of the equator 
or south of the equator. So here we are. I will highlight the equator. Do we no are we north of it or are we south of it? You're right, Tiki. We're north of it. Easy. All right. Did you discover you knew quite a bit about this world? Share your information with the classmate. Okay. So here's the deal. We've all seen globes, but we're going to cover them a lot more intensely. Uh, there's parts of this packet that will cover the country, parts that will cover um, cities, how to read the maps, the keys. There's a lot we're gonna cover in this and we'll probably get to this maybe once or twice a week. We're not gonna do this every day. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read this. All right, that's it. That's all we're doing for this today. What is a globe? The earth is so large that we can see only part of it at a time. Even if we took a picture from a plane, we would only see a small part of the whole earth. A globe is a small model of the earth. The two drawings above show a globe from two points of view. They also show a line cutting across the middle of the earth. We call that line the equator. It divides the earth into two equal parts. At the top of the globe is north, the North Pole. At the bottom of the pole is the South Pole. The globe shows the correct size, position, and shape of the land. It also shows the seas and the oceans of the world. So using the globe, stand up and follow a set of instructions and learn how directions work. North is the direction of the North Pole. When, you're face, when you face north, east is to your right, and west is to your left hand. So when you look at your hands... This is your left hand because it makes an L. That is west. This way is west. This way is east. This is north. This is south. We all know that. We learned that back in second grade. Now, turn to face the south. What direction is to your right? What direction is to your left? All right. It might get a little tricky if you do that. The drawings show the seven continents, the largest land areas. Can you name them? Now, find the largest water areas called oceans. How many did you find? Okay. We're going to stop there. We're not going to move on. But they asked us some questions. Can you name all of the seven continents? So I'm going to highlight this. This is something that we are going to cover in the next video. I'll make a list. Until now, we're done with this packet. So I'm going to put this packet where it belongs. Where does it belong? Back in its folder. Good. Okay, great. That was a lot more than we did on Monday. So here's the deal. Do what I just said and I'll give you two days to do it. That means I won't make a video on Wednesday. I will make my next video and release it on Thursday and I will check in with you guys because I don't know what's gonna happen yet. If everyone's logged in yet, if everyone's on task yet, I'm gonna give you some time to figure this all out. My next video will be on Thursday. All of this stuff is due Friday. I'm gonna put a deadline on all the dates. It's all due Friday. So do not wait until Friday morning to turn it on and figure it all out. Start doing some of the work now. So I just gave you a lot of things to do today. It's all part of the process. Don't just stop doing it. Do it. And uh, I'll check back in with you uh, pretty soon. See ya.